So over the past one to two weeks, we have seen some weakness, right, in some of the Singapore technology counters, right, counters like AEM, right, UMS, Franken, High P, right, these are the Singapore technology counters that have suffered some selling pressure over the past one to two weeks. And the reason is because you know, the US market have gone up to multi-year highs and many of these technology counters like, you know, Apple, Amazon have all seen some heavy selling as well. So it kind of affected the technology sector in Singapore as well. Hey guys, Joey here, top tier reminds you in Philip Securities and Chief Trainer at Trading Impulse. Right? So today's video, all right, I'm going to talk about the technology sector in Singapore. Right? What are some of the levels that we can look at for counters like AEM, Franken, UMS, and HYP? What is the trend like in the short term? I mean, in terms of the long term as well, is it time to start accumulating? Or perhaps we want to be careful because if we do break some of these key support levels, we might also see a bit more short term weakness, especially if the US market were to sell down more. Right, in terms of the technology counters in the US. All right, so this is what we covered whereby I'll look at you know these four counters, AEM, UMS, Franken, and HYP. Let's take a look at these charts of each of them right now. So this is AEM right over here as of the 13th of September 2020. So AEM is one of the market leaders in terms of the technology sector. In fact, we've covered this quite a few times a few weeks back when it was right over here when it was holding above that $4 level. Right? So there were some upside targets that were drawn to about $420, $440. But what happens was, you know, over the past one to two weeks, we've kind of broken this $4 level. And when it broke that support level, that's where we started to see a bit more selling pressure coming back, right? So sellers came back and we kind of headed towards that 380 temporary support level it didn't hold as well and it went all the way down to this support at about three dollars and forty cents right so where is the support right now right? so what happens is you can see that this 340 okay 340 was originally the resistance level that we've seen in may june or right, right over here it was consoling from like you know just below 340 it kind of broke up and we started to you know consolidate from like 340 380 right so right now we are pretty much back to this 340 support level in fact just yesterday we kind of rebounded from this 340 as well all right you can see quite a good candle rebound from 340 went to a high of around three dollars and 68 but it kind of close at about 363 so right now i would say 340 would be a good all right um support level if or right, you want to prevent a bit more downside right? look at this the red line look at this red line this would be the 100 days moving average as well you can see we kind of rebounded from this level we kind of touched the low on thursday it kind of went to a low of about 328 all right and we kind of you know rebounded from this level as well so uh, probably about 330 340 a bit of a good support coming back around here but hopefully we can hold above that 340 then the range right now would be probably about 340 to three dollars and eighty cents. That would be the consolidation. I would say for the short term, we might consolidate in this like forty cents range, just like where we were. All right, in July, you can see we can't consolidate for about one week plus from three forty to three eighty. So right now we are pretty much back to this three forty to three eighty range. But just want to be careful because as I mentioned, the short term when we broke that four dollars support level. Okay, this this stock right over here, you can see that each time you know since like May April we have been like consolidating and breaking higher consolidating and bring higher so it kind of forms a good support each time but this time when it kind of broke that four dollar support that's where some short-term selling came back so you want to be careful if that 340 or at 340 support level that would be the near term support if that 340 to 330 would break down that's where you want to be careful because in the short term all right we might still see a bit more weakness in the short term right if it breaks that 330 to 340 we might potentially head towards that 280 to three dollars right 280 to three dollars would be the next downside if that support were to be broken right so if you're looking to accumulate on dips yes you can do it but make sure you have a plan to get out in case that support level would be broken and you know this 280 look at this right over here 280 would be where the longer term moving average is as well look at this 200 days moving average that is probably near where 
um, the downside um, targets is as well right over here near the support at about two dollars eighty cents so if you want the longer term uptrend to hold right we probably need to hold above some of the good support level like the two dollars and eighty cents right? so yes this is AEM right over here as of the 13th of September 2020 take note of the immediate support at 340 let's hope it holds over the next few days and we see a bit of consolidation before hopefully all right getting back above that 380 and then we can potentially see more upside reversal back up to probably about that four dollars and 40 cents right that would be the upside targets again for the reversal to happen we must get back up above that three dollars and 80 cents so before I move on, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, right? Give me a like so that it will definitely help the YouTube channel out, you know, and thank you so much for doing that. And I hope you have enjoyed this video so far. So let's move on to the next counter. So let's take like UMS right over here. So another technology counter, which a lot of people have asked me as well. You know, we have seen a bit of weakness. So what happens was UMS was holding quite well above that one dollar all right support level since like, you know, July, August, we've been holding above one dollar. In fact, we went all the way high to about 120. You know some profit taking came back and we we're holding above that one dollar for the past two to three weeks but what happens was just last week we kind of broke that one dollar level right quite firmly all right and this 20 days moving average green line is kind of like pointing down as well and prices are like below this 20 days moving average so in terms of the short term because we have kind of like went down went back down below that one dollar level now it's about 0 0.965 all right we might see a bit of weakness coming in again all the way to about that 85 cents look at this right over here let me just draw this would be the short term um downside targets that can happen because we kind of went back down below that one dollar support level so all the way down to about 90 cents to 85 cents you know once we hit these levels that's where some bargain hunting or short covering can come back again hopefully we hold above this level if not you know if that 85 cents will be broken guys we might still see more weakness all right coming back all the way to about 70 cents so you know this would be a weaker counter i would say because in terms of the trend or in terms of the trend in the longer term to mid term pretty much up and down uh for for this red line and blue line the 100 days moving average to 200 days moving average it's still not really a very clear uptrend you know it's kind of like starting to form but you know what happens was it went to a high and profit taking came back so in terms of the longer term trend is still not yet well defined so that's why you know we might see a bit more weakness especially below that one dollar level we might hit to that 85 cents level but of course if we do you know rebound back above that one dollar yes then hopefully we do see some you know upside coming back again we might probably head back to that 110 uh to 120 that would be the upside but right now um just take note below one dollars i'm a bit more bearish in terms of the short term all right where you can potentially hit to that 85 to 90 cents level where you know hopefully some buying pressure will come back again so let's take a look at franken right also one of the technology counter in singapore that have seen a bit of selling you know we covered this previously kind of went up to our target about 110 and you know profit taking came back as well so right now we're currently trading about 99 cents right over here so i would say right now that you know the immediate support level for franken right would be about that 94 cents to 95 in fact over the past you know one month plus right since like end of july we have been holding quite well above this 94 cents 95 cents level we have kind of rebounded from it as well on friday all right let me just draw this upside targets range right over here so 94 cents to about one dollar right so one dollar is that immediate i would say resistance psychological level you want to take note of because right now it seems like selling is still coming back near one dollar so in order to see you know a bit more upside reversal for this counter back to probably about 110 we do need to see a bit of bullish actions coming back uh, above that one dollar hopefully we see a close above one dollar all right and then some good um, indication in terms of price actions then we can potentially head back to that 110 but right now just take note one dollar would be the immediate resistance level so in terms of the short term we might consolidate from like 94 cents to one dollar all right this six cents range right but just take note as well you know because if this support at 94 cents were to be broken you know in terms of the short term wise we can also see a bit of weakness coming because look at this right as i mentioned the 20 days moving average is kind of pointing down all right and, and prices are like kind of still below this 20 days moving average so the short term wise there can still be more weakness especially if that 94 cents will be broken we might head towards that you know 85 
to 90 cents level that would be the downside as well to 90 cents to about 85 that would be the downside target so just take note of you know the critical support level and you want to make sure you have a plan all right if you're looking to accumulate on deeps near like 94 cents 95 for any rebound which can happen right because we have seen it rebounding about you know more than five times since um since last month right so it can happen you can rebound to one dollar and sellers might come back again but just take note you want to have a plan because if this 94 cents were to be broken all right we can still see more weakness and you want to have a plan to kind of like stop loss and get out because you want to make sure you don't write the next phase of downside all the way to like 85 cents to 90 cents so let's take a look at high p right high p one of the technology counters as well in singapore you can see that you know over the past i would say two to three months right since july right two months we have been holding right really well above these one dollars and 20 cents upon in fact you know there were some upside targets that were drawn from like 120 potential rebound back to about 130 and maybe even to 140 that was the upside targets that were drawn because we have been holding quite well and you know this 120 was initially the resistance level we have become the support and there were some signs that buyers were coming back up you know from that 120 in fact it did rebound headed to 130 and profit taking came back right but what happens was over the past few days right we kind of broken right this one dollar and 20 cent support level we are currently trading at about one dollar and 14 cents 1.14 right because of this breakdown in the short term right we might start to see a bit of selling pressure coming back or right, look at this the 20 days moving average it was pretty much like you know moving up you know pointing sideways but right now you can see it started to turn down and we kind of broke that 120 as well all right so that is some signs of weakness right um, you know we can potentially hit to about 110 110 would be a good near-term support level i would say 110 all right and if that 110 will to give way as well all right we can also hit back to that psychological one dollar level right so one dollar would be key right one dollar was where we were in april may all right we were supported above there consolidating from like one dollar to 120 before pushing higher so right now you know that would be some you know support level that we can potentially hit to all right if that one dollar ten cents were to be broken as well we can potentially hit to one dollar and that's where some short covering can come back again so for high p i would say a little bit more bearish uh, you know especially below that 120 uh, in the short term because you know as i mentioned the 20 days moving average is still pointing down all right so are, i'm still a bit more bearish below 120 all right of course if we do get back up above 120 and hold above yeah then probably we can start to see a bit of reversal we might look at it again in terms of the upside but right now anything below 120 you want to be careful because that's where we can see a bit more short-term weakness as mentioned so yes there we have it we have pretty much covered the top four right popular technology counters in singapore aem ums franken and high p right so these are the counters technology counters which a lot of people have been asking me you know in terms of the weakness are we seeing those more downside and all that so i hope you have taken note of some of the key levels that i mentioned for each of these counters and you know make sure you have a plan if you're looking to accumulate on deeps or you know, looking short positions you can use cfd as well all right, but make sure you have a plan if you're looking to trade these counters right so i hope you've enjoyed this video what you can do now is to right hit the subscribe button right if you have not subscribe to the youtube channel hit the subscribe button hit the bell and the notification so that you will be notified if any new videos like this comes out and you will not miss out on ideas like this in terms of the upside or the downside you will be notified so i look forward to see you in the next video thank you so much for watching joey here take care